A security camera outside of the Young Israel Synagogue on Pico Boulevard captured this. A man hurling a large piece of cement at the house of worship around 1 a.m. After the first attempt to break into the synagogue, the man tries again and fails. You see the size of this cement piece? The synagogue security chief Stephen Silver believes the same person also broke a window at Pat's, a kosher restaurant just steps away. This morning, workers were boarding up the shattered window. We will not be frightened by any act by anyone. Leaders with the synagogue and nearby Simon Wiesenthal Center described the attack as an act of anti-Semitism. There's no place in our society in this country created and built on the principles of freedom of religion for such acts of vandalism and of hate. <laughs> this vandalism comes on the heels of a rash of anti-Semitic incidents like this one. When witnesses say a group of pro-Palestinian protesters attacked several Jewish diners at a sushi restaurant on La Cienega last week. David Rojas works as a delivery driver at Chicken Chow, a kosher restaurant next to Young Israel. He says the rise of hate is alarming. Just for being Jewish, escalating as we speak. A report was filed with LAPD to try to find the person responsible. Meanwhile, the Jewish community is getting ready for the Sabbath, and synagogue leaders hope that their members feel safe attending this weekend. Reporting in Pico Robertson, I'm Alex Biston, CBS 2 News. Now, the CHP is being.